Hi, it's Elder. A couple of years ago, I have built this Mac mini website using Blocks Free. And well, if you go to Blocks Templates, you can still see the demo. And you can see there are some cool effects. And the important thing here is, of course, I have done that without knowing how to code. I don't know how to code still. And uh, yeah, I just used the Blocks 3 app application back at the time. So this year, there is obviously blocks four available, and I was I was thinking about rebuilding this, or maybe updating it uh, to be even more like Apple.com. But instead of taking this blocks three project and updating it for blocks four, I have decided to rebuild the new page from Apple website, and thanks to one of my customers. We have decided to try iPhone 12 Pro page and rebuild it basically in blocks 4. And this page is very, very image heavy and video heavy. And there are lots of animations. And first I was going to rebuild just some of the sections here. But at the end of the day, I did rebuild the full website in blocks 4 without code from scratch. So this is the apple.com, this is the my version. So let's take a look very quickly at my project file. Here you can see that there are lots of blocks and there are lots of content. Uh, I didn't do my best to optimize every image and every video file here because there are a bunch of videos and files. If you go to Asset Manager, you can see that there are lots of images and uh, files here, but I got everything from apple.com. Obviously I don't own any copyright. So even though I'm going to share this project, these blocks for templates members, I strongly advise against using it for any commercial product project. Uh, just use it for your educational means. You can see how I've done some of the things here. And obviously not everything is possible in blocks four, would be strange if everything would be possible because it took me maybe one or two days to rebuild this page in blocks without knowing how to code and if it would be exactly the same as apple.com it will be very strange so let's take a look at how this looks and uh, well we can do that in browser preview i think so option command b to go to browser preview and you can see that uh, we have this beautiful animation here. And on top, I have this message because some people might, might think that it is the Apple website. It's not, so we will hide that. And let's scroll and see what kind of content we have here. You can see there's uh, basically the scroll effects apply to all of the blocks here. Uh, almost all of the effects here are just scroll effects, built-in effects we have in blocks. And I didn't use any custom rigs or any external code at all. All of this is done using the straight out of the box blocks for. And you know, things like this, you can see that we can create this beautiful animation. And all well, this is a little bit different to what we have on, on Apple website, but still looks cool. And we have a bunch of videos. Camera. And by the way, these learn more buttons, they all link to the one model. I didn't recreate all of them. It will be pointless because you can't even see it unless you click here. And I only rebuilt the first one and just applied it to all the buttons. But I did add all of the images available on this page on Apple's website. And because my client was Spanish, I have rebuilt the Spanish page in addition to learning Spanish recently. So it's not English this time, but you can see everything design wise is exactly the same. For example, this is the tapped content brick. You can see that we can use some fancy switching between the lenses 
have these videos here lots of fading animations another video Like I said, it's a very long page. It is lots of images and videos. Well, the bottom part of this website is actually not using any animations, even on Apple's website. You can see the same here. Yeah, once again, this is the mock-up. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if we go back to Blocks project, what's important here is that everything is very super responsive as well. Optimized for mobile, for all the devices. You can see that the menu looks very beautiful on mobile, exactly like it is on Apple's website. On SM, maybe it's small tablets, MD breakpoint. Let's zoom in a little bit. And yeah, as you can see, like everything is optimized to look perfectly fine on mobile. Even these animations. So there are a few things I want to show how to build. And this will be the separate tutorials I upload to my Blocks Master channel. But for this video, that's it. I just wanted to show you. By the way, did you see this cool loading animation this black background there is a very little very cool little trick i'm going to show you probably to do to probably tomorrow showing how to achieve this very cool i didn't know that before so yeah uh, that's it for this video i just wanted to show you how it is quite easy and amazingly simple to build something like this without code using blocks for and if you want to learn how to build something like this, so visit Blocks Master. And stay tuned for tutorials I'm going to upload about this to my Blocks Master channel. All links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a nice weekend.